Hello everyone and welcome to How to Make Die in Arc. There's no denying, Arc is a beautiful landscape no matter which map you're playing on. But when you're fighting dinosaurs, you may want a little bit more variety out there, right? Well, actually, killing this dinosaur has given me a great idea. Die! Well, not that kind of die. This kind of die. Navigating the lush greenery of the arc landscape is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. But being able to customize your own door, walls, and items is a ton of fun. And today we're going over how to do just that. Equipment to make die. To get this stuff early game, there's a few things that we'll need. And in this tutorial, I'll be in creative mode, but keep in mind any of the things that you need, like this cooking pot, will need to be crafted using the materials that are required. Once you get a hold of that, craft a cooking pot, craft a mortar and pestle, and then we're going to start breaking down how to create the die. For certain die, you'll need certain items. For example, some die require spark powder, and to make that, that's what we need the mortar and pestle for. So grab a flint and stone and take that over to the mortar and pestle. From here, you're going to put in the flint and stone. And in the top right, you'll see that there are a number of available things to craft and spark powder is one of them. Go ahead and craft as many as you can or as many as you need for the amount of dye, which we will get to in just a moment. Next, you're also going to need a water skin, which is a relatively easy early game thing to access. So craft one or many, depending on how much dye you want. One is good enough for this tutorial though. Then you'll also need the berry colors of the dye that you want, and you're going to then collect those into your inventory, along with some charcoal, which is easily accessed from a cooking pot or any source of fire. How to cook and apply dye. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, how to make dye. Following along with this guide that we have, that is also linked in the description, you can make any sort of dye with the berries and the simple early game items. For example, yellow dye is just the yellow berries, charcoal, and a water skin. Same goes for the blue berries, or the azul berries, technically. Putting all of these items into the cooking pot will grant you five of the dye that you are trying to make, depending on the color of berry that you put in. Now, applying the dye is relatively simple. You can directly drag some of the dye onto some of the items that you have. For example, I want to paint this section of the pickaxe blue. So I'm going to go ahead and click on region three and then hit apply paint. Then you'll see it's done. Next, I'm going to do the yellow on the other two sections available for this pickaxe. Applying the paint will take up a full thing of dye if you're doing it this way, but it does make the tools that you're using look pretty baller overall. I personally like the blue because it's just so vibrant. The next way to apply the dye is using the paintbrush. So once again, craft up a paintbrush, which is relatively cheap. Once you've crafted it, put it in your toolbar and wherever you want to paint, go run up to it and smack it with a paintbrush. You'll be granted a UI in which you can apply the paint to the brush and then apply the brush to whatever you're trying to paint. The good news about this way of doing it is that it is a lot cheaper and the paint spreads a lot more. So you smack whatever area you want, paint it however you need, and the paint available will let you know how much more paint you can put on. Again, I like the blue a lot because it's just very vibrant, so I paint a lot of this area very blue. That being said, you get to go wild now that you know how to do the dye. Conclusion. Well, this is how you can apply dye with a relatively simple early game process. As soon as I learned you could do this in game, you bet your butt that I was painting everything that I could. By the way, if you happen to like this tutorial, then please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ring the notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time. Huh. <laughs>